We're back with tonight's 13 News Medical Report, saving the sight of young people with eye injuries. That's right. There's a new implant or prosthetic device for a part of the eye that's damaged in games like paintball. 13 News Medical Editor Catherine Barrett joins us now with this story. Catherine? Well, as paintball has become more and more popular, the number of players with injuries from it has risen, too. Take a look at how an experimental iris prosthesis helped a teenager who got shot in the eye. Paintball is supposed to be challenging, but not devastating. At first, I, my eye went completely numb. I didn't feel it at all. And I didn't even know it hit me in the eye. Looked at it in the mirror, and I realized that it was pretty bad. So bad that 16-year-old Curtis Thomas nearly became blind in his left eye. Natural lens inside his eye was partly dislocated, and the iris of his eye, which is what regulates the light getting in his eye, had been severely damaged. Glare and light bothered him terribly, and Curtis developed a cataract, too. It got hard to see the board at first, and uh, sometimes the light in the rooms will give me, like, a headache, so I have to, like, close my eye or hold it closed during class. And then an eye surgeon recommended he have an experimental iris prosthesis made out of plexiglass. This is a new device that we have been fortunate to be able to use for patients who have these injuries that takes the place of the natural iris of the eye. It's flexible, but rigid enough to go into the eye and maintain its size and shape. A few weeks after surgery, life was looking a whole lot better for Curtis. The first thing I noticed once I got the surgery was that colors were more vibrant, like in, you see more depth out of things with both eyes than you would with one eye. It's a lot easier to do things now that I can see out of both eyes. Curtis had not been wearing eye protection when he was injured playing paintball. So if you're going to play, you need to specifically use a paintball mask, not sunglasses or goggles from any other sport. Only paintball masks are made to withstand the impact of a paintball going about 270 miles an hour. Catherine Barrett, 13 News. There's a lot more coming up for you on 13 News.